welcome back to another episode of seven days that i alpha 17 season two today we return we ran over a landmine with our bike yeah i said that right i thought i almost said that we ran over a bike with our landmine no 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 we, we ran over one of them bad boys here's our mini bike nighttime has come we got to worry about some things like that we're stranded in the middle of nowhere but the big thing is if you guys have been following through the series we did something amazing we recovered our backpack that had so many immensely powerful and useful tools such as the chainsaw auger a variety of valuables weapons really good armor we died out here and we lost all of this but we were able to recover it after crafting up our mini bike and tbh how do i repair this bad boy is that what what's it take it doesn't like tell me what it takes so i'm a little bit sketched about that but so be it as long as we don't like accidentally blow this thing up let's get to driving this bad boy because what we are going to be doing since it is night time is we're trying to do a little bit of exploration until we can see that glorious daylight since over here we have pretty much this giant metropolis that's where we have our last little base settled but it's more of an outpost we never really you know did anything hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on your boy's got to take a sip of something i got nothing to sip on yo don't do this to me game don't do this to me. I know I got some water somewhere. I got water nowhere. Is anything here give me hydration? Eh? Boiled eggs? No. No. Okay. Well, looks like the dehydration bug might be hitting us a little bit harder than expected. We might want to go and actually loot up a couple of these houses to hopefully find some water. Unless, is there a body of water nearby? There is. All right. We're going to do operation. Get some god dang water. Probably start up a little campfire. Hopefully don't get swarmed by zombies. I imagine that this mini bike might draw some attention our way. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But then hopefully, oh my goodness gracious, I ran that over. We will be able to do some exploration around here because I do want to find a place where we could truly settle. Because so far we've only ever really kind of... Is that a fire over there? I, is that a fire I could use, dude? Is anyone seeing that? That might be. Hold up. No, I think that just like charred charcoal or something like that. Uh, I got a poop, 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 poop done of this stuff over here in the form of empty water bottles. We're finally going to be filling these bad boys up. Glug, 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 glug. And we actually got some of that. We are freezing. That's not good. But uh, we just got to get, we actually got enough stones. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, no, we don't have a cooking pot, though. Game, don't do this to me, game. Game, no, no. And I also got to figure out something to get rid of here in our inventory. Uh, uh. Honestly, I think I got an extra anvil. I could probably just scrap that, get a little bit of storage storage room and some uh, the iron and stuff we could use. Um, I'm a little bit concerned now, though, because yeah, I, I don't think we have a cooking pot, dude. Unless maybe there's no cooking pot in there either. Dear mama. So I think what we might need to end up doing here is something a little bit balsy because uh, mm, cure infections, dysentery, food poisoning, and pneumonia. Okay, so we're, what we're going to do here is pretty much... Uh, welcome dysentery fam. We're drinking some absolutely undrinkable water. So be it. All right. I don't care how many diseases I catch from this dude. There's probably fish pooping all over this water, dude. Oh my God. I'm pooping out bags. Look at <laughs> Does anyone see this? <laughs> Can I just say that this is absolutely amazing? Oh my God. I'm just, I'm just pooping them out. Does it poop out where I look? Or is it always, no, it doesn't poop out if I look that way. What's it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, this is the goofiest little thing ever. We're just making a giant bag of bags. All right, that's enough of that, though. Hopefully, that's enough to keep us going well and then just to cure our sickness that we inevitably caught after drinking a half of a freaking pool of random water. Hopefully, our water should be going back up. Hopefully, that'll start curing up our dysentery. And the water predicament should be saved. I'll leave that campfire over there for a zombie that's cold one night or something like that. But back to what we were saying. We are still looking for a proper place. Hopefully close to some really good loot locations. I'm really trying to find like a shotgun rain factory. A giant shotgun weapon factory, dude. Because that is one of the dopest locations ever. Hello, zombies. Don't mind me. I'm going to turn on my light and skedaddle on out of here. Because we got plenty of gas to make this a trek more than worthwhile and we're just gonna try to find the road and continue exploring and see just how big this city is and if we do come across i mean given how big this city is dude we're definitely gonna come across something interesting because like well actually over here there's this road but where's this road go to i see like a couple of crops and whatnot i know i can pick those up and my inventory is pretty full i'm really trying to yeet oh my god we're getting wild out here really just trying to find a place where we could settle a little bit and i wonder if this road 
actually goes back full circle into the giant metropolis that we were exploring. And oh baby, I don't know how we made it up that. <gasps> Vulture! Jesus, get out of here! Dog bomb! My god, that thing's dive bombing us! Get out of here! No, 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 Jesus! Who built this road? I need to file a complaint with whatever city we're in. Oh, Jabus. Oh, Jabus. Sweet baby Jabus, there's a vulture on us. <laughs> it's like the deadliest motocross race of my life. Okay. Hopefully we can outrun this thing a little bit. Dude, where did that vulture come from? I gotta get out of the desert. I forgot. That's the moral of the story. I hate this place. With a passion. Oh, that's an interesting little house. With an interesting little basement. Dude, if I hit any landmines during this transition, I'm not gonna be happy either. But, uh, yeah. Daytime should be here pretty shortly, so... I mean, mainly I'm just trying to hopefully find a good place where we could ultimately build a more proper and full-scale, full-fledged base. Not some of those little, like, outpost raggedy raggedy tag places that we've been putting together just to try and survive the seven day hordes that are constantly attacking us this time i want to be prepared i want to settle and whether that be by fortifying a really dope place to the max or by finding just a very nice place to settle down and build our own place from scratch ultimately at the end of the day i do want to build an entire base from scratch but just depends you know how the days are shaping up and stuff regarding if we do that right away or if we maybe just try to fortify a little place first but, uh, yeah, that's where this kind of whole exploration thing does come into play. And mainly because, dude, I'm just not trying to get attacked by zombies right now. My health is at half health. I do need to use... Someone brought up... I gotta eat, craft some freaking cloth band-aids. So I do need to find some cloth to create some band-aids. Or just flat out find some band-aids. I'm down for either. But, okay. It looks like this road kind of trails off a little bit to the right there. Looks like we get back on track with some road over here. What is that up there? That looks like an interesting building, maybe. You guys seeing this? Oh, that's no, just a backyard. What up, dear? How you doing? But yeah, hopefully you guys are having an absolutely fan for fantastic day. Of the most amazing variety that only gets more fan for fantastic from uh, here on out. Whether that be from the video, giving you a smile, helping you crack a giggle, or something like that, or something else going on in the wonderful lives of yours, bringing some smiles and happiness and positivity to your face. Doesn't matter to me what it is. I'm just hoping and crossing my fingers, y'all. Got some fan freaking fantasticness and positivity going yo guys' way. And okay, okay, so we've, we've, we've been here before. We're kind of starting to get into recharted territory a little bit. So why don't we trail off this way? Ooh, oh, Jesus! What just happened? My bike's freaking out here. T minus two hours till we could hop off safely. That's mainly what I'm waiting for here. But... I mean, this town is coming across quite nicely. We found a couple of these, like, big boy buildings up here. But I, not a lot of stores, dude. And that's kind of the main thing I'm looking for. I'd love to find... Is that another freaking giant... Dang, that's another freaking apartment complex. What is this road? Who built this? But, oh, Jesus. Yeah, that road is definitely not safe. I don't know who's driving on that. That's looking like a freaking roller coaster. All right. Still no zombies on us. We're going to start going into this area, I think, and branching off to the right. This is where the territory starts getting unexplored again, but I really want to find some, like, tool stores and stuff. Like, tool stores, weapon stores. Like, the stores tend to have some of the better stuff, at least for my seven days to die expertise. Although, I do know that with the latest update, Alpha 17, they did add quite a lot of new points of interest, new locations that I might not have checked out as much. So if there are new places, I obviously want to check those out too. But so far, just looking like a lot of houses and stuff. God dang it. T-minus one hour so we can hop off safely. I better not hit a landmine, by the way. Oh, there we go. Back on the road. I feel safe on the road, dude. There's not going to be any landmines on the road. That'd be whack. All right, so how are we looking with this exploration? Dude, this city is next level, man. I've never in all my years, years of playing Seven Days to Die, come across a place this massive and god dang it we need a place to settle because my inventory is full i literally can't fill up anything more my mini bike little basket is full like we we just gotta find a place where we could settle down and all that type of jazz oh what is this over to the right a little what is that trailer i think that's a little trailer a little gas station to the left is that hold up hold up hold up what up fire zombies Woo! stay away Yo, 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 this thing up here catches my interest. Boys, oh, back it up, back it up, Vulture. I hear you, boy. I hear you. This might be, if we are lucky, potentially, maybe an underground bunker. 
we have stumbled across, so hold up. I'm going to make a quick mark on this map. Yeah, we'll waypoint that. Just so we know to come back there. That is a location I want to check out. That might be a good little place to call home while we try and, you know, build up and have a proper home out here somewhere in the wild. But in the meantime, I'm just amazed. Can we just appreciate how big this city is from there to there? I think there's non-stop roads and streets connecting all of this. And it just keeps on going. Dear mama. Dude, I would love to, like, colonize this with a group or something. That just seems like it'd be a ton of fun. Oh, no, we're back in the desert. Oh, yes, I like some buildings I'm seeing up ahead. I think we're finding the interesting stuff now. God dang it. Let me put on my cowboy hat. That ought to be able to help out. Oh, I didn't have a hat on. Whoops. Um, anything else cool that I could put on? I'll put on a little bit of that. Nah, skirt's way better. Skirt's way better. Was it on the left? Is that a little parking garage, parking lot? I'm going to go check out the right real quick, but I do want to see what this is. Yeah, it's just like a little parking lot or something. Something caught my eye over here. Could this be? There's like this giant blocky building. What is this block? Hello? Care to enlighten me? Oh, it's just the fire department. God dang it. Oh. What is that building up ahead? <gasps> is that? No, no. That's not the shotgun rain factory, is it? It isn't. But, oh, we have come across something amazingly interesting as the day comes to a start. Welcome to day 16, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and say hello to Poopy Pants Daycare. No, <laughs> say hello to this incredibly- Get out of here, Vulture! No, 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 I'm done with you. No, no, no. Why do you have to ruin everything nice that happens? God dang it, Poopy Pants Daycare. How many Poopy Pants are there around here? Dude, this Vulture is on my tail. Hold up, hold up. Stay away. Back, back. I got a strong sledgehammer. Where did it go? Excuse me. Woo! Back, foul beast. Okay. Whew. Yo, do you guys see this, though? What is going on up there? Also, where'd I put that stupid... Didn't one of my guns have a two-time scope on it before I died? I forget which gun it is, dude. I thought for sure I modded up one of these guns. Okay, it's on the hunting rifle. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Let's touch on the hunting rifle, then. I can't really zoom in more, but dude, there's like a water tower up there and stuff. This is what I'm talking about. I do not recall a building such as this, and I think that is actually like a school or something. I don't know if I want to settle down here, but this could be quite the protective area. And hold up, we got to switch back to a melee weapon. Where's my sledgehammer? Where's my sledgehammer? Where's my sledgehammer? Oh, there it is. It's already in my inventory. Hello, big boy. Goodbye, big boy. One hitter quitter, and I don't even need to do the power swing. All right. I say we start colonizing, or at least exploring this place. Maybe getting some, uh, getting some blocks down. Because here's the thing, man. If we could colonize this building, especially with that top tower, dude, if we could just kind of build our base on top of this place, looks pretty fortified, really strong foundation, we may have found home, and there's a couple of interesting locations close to here, dude, look at how far east this is, dude, like, oh my god, how big is this place? I don't know, and I'm not complaining, we're gonna have places to loot for days, what is this, is that dirt? Get out of your dirt. I hear a fire. <gasps> Are there survivors in here? I don't know, but we're going to get to the bottom of it. Bless up to the sledgehammer. The king of breaking down anything. Dude, the sledgehammer is like the ultimate just looting tool. You can break into like almost anything with this thing. Even dirt. I think I guess that's rock. But even rock to an extent. But this is some sort of like a collapsed apartment. I almost said apartment apocalypse. Apartment complex. By the looks of it. And dude, it's in pretty prime location, pretty uncharted territory. You've already found at least, like, a dead might very well, like, I'm telling you. Just something about the design of that place. It reminds me, I think there's, like, a secret tunnel into, like, a bunker. And I want to explore that, don't get me wrong. But dude, I hear a fire in here. This place is fortified. This place has caught my eye. Hello. Open for business over there? Well, don't mind if I do. Now, this is one of those newer point of interest where I think it's laid out like a dungeon. Woo! Hello! Goodbye! <laughs> it's laid out like a dungeon where there's like a- Oh! 
relatively straightforward path for us to follow. And you know what else we should be doing too? We should definitely make sure to break into all the paintings. Oh, you're not a painting. You're a person. You're a person. Hello, person. Goodbye, person. Dear mama, goodbye to your head too. Do I have my good goggles on? I do. I can put on the loop goggles. I need to put those on. I got to remember, man. I got that goldfish memory. It doesn't help me out. We got a... Hello. All right, dude. We got a... No, get out of your campfire. I don't want you anymore. I don't know why you started crafting yourself. The rogue campfire. It's assuming direct control. <laughs> um, Dude, we got to at least like... I got to put a chest down somewhere. That's the thing right now. Ah, uh, Maybe we go down to the bunker. That should be easier to clear out. And it should be a little bit more of a safe haven for us, but... Dude, this apartment complex has proved interesting. This one, here's the thing, this is gonna take a lot longer to clear out, and it's not gonna be safe as easily as that potential bunker. So I'm gonna go to that bunker real quick, okay? Because like I'm saying, we should be able to clear it out very quickly. It'll at least be a perfect little stash spot for us, because worst case, that could be where we stash a lot of our valuable stuff. And our defense base could be this giant apartment complex as we build it up. That might be kind of like the move. I don't know why I'm going north. That's not the way I should be going. I should be going this way. But we might be able to kind of have like multiple structures in this city with like a different purpose. So that giant complex, we could just turn that into like a giant fortress if all goes well. And then a the little like underground potential bunker. Oh Jesus, what was that? Dude, running into things is spooky on this thing. With great power comes great responsibility. Ah, oh, and apparently great voice cracks. <laughs> <laughs> and god dang it, this mini bike is a powerful thing, apparently. Wait, well, yeah, just not a lot of weapon stores and stuff, but I have a lot- I have- I have high hopes for that place, dude. The layout of that place makes me think that it's a dungeon, and given how big and the sheer size of it it is, I feel like there's gonna be some massive rewards at the top of that complex. And if we could colonize it and just make sure that no one, like, spawns there, like no zombies respawn by putting down some sleeping bags and whatnot. Dude, we're, uh, we're in for a doozy. Dear mama, how far away is this thing? Okay, it's not too far at this point. But yeah, if there are any places we have passed by, by the way, that you guys want to see us hit, make sure to let me know in that comment section down below. I'm always a man of the people. And if the people want something done, want a place visited, I will do my best to make it come true. So I always want to do everything that we can. And yeah, baby, this is exactly what we were talking about. Say hello to, oh, my friend. Hello, Bobby. Goodbye, Bobby. That was Bobby. He just likes to kind of chill here break into things. We got a couple boxes. Probably just gonna have toilets. But, uh, we want to break into this. It's not gonna be cheap, luckily for us. We got an auger, boy! Oh, that'll make things slightly faster. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This auger is not as powerful as it could be. But so be it! It's automated. We don't use- Woo! Where did that noise come from? I hear zombies. They're hitting things. What are you hitting? Stupid shambies. I don't know what they're hitting. I'm worried. Oh, there you go. He's on the other side of this. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let me clear the air. Where is my sledgehammer? There you are. Hey, <laughs> say hello to my little friend. As soon as I say hello <laughs> to the wooden planks. Gotta break that open, and then I gotta break a couple faces here. A couple faces there. Uh, gotta recharge that stamina. Swinging a big hammer. It's not easy being this cheesy. And all right, let's continue breaking and entering, though. But yeah, let me know in that comment section down below. You guys always know. I'm always looking for your guys' thoughts, feedback, ideas, all that type of jazz. To make this series as much about us and not just me as possible. And, you know, get y'all involved in that decision-making process and some of the things that we go out and do. So let me know what you guys think, too. If you guys have any, like, info on that apartment complex we're trying to hit up. Because that might be very, very, very promising, dude. I got high hopes for it. I don't know why, but I do. God dang it, this auger's about to break. Which sucks, because there's a big door we gotta break through. Can I repair this? Nope. We need a weapon. Oh, a repair kit. I might have one of those. Okay, where are the zombies coming from now, dude? Oh, we might have woken them in the bunker. All right. Well, I'll, I'll deal with the consequences for now. Hello, repair kits. Goodbye, pistol. Hello, freshly repaired auger. That's what I like to see. The one thing that sucks about this location, though, now that I think about it, is the fact that... Oh, the zombies are helping me break into this. That's not a bad part. The bad part is I don't know if there's a traitor nearby. Oh, my God. I augured these people. Oh, Jesus. I'm murdering the door. The door's bleeding. <laughs> Absolutely savage, lads. Oh, my God. That was the first layer and just the first layer. Oh, Jesus. Let's make sure that our back's covered. 
We're about to have a lot of zombies we gotta kill, boys. Hope you're ready for the floodgates to open. <laughs> I don't think they're ready, though. Oh, but I'm ready. I'm swinging. No, 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 no. Back it up, 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 back it up. Ow, 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 ow. Die, die, die. Hello? I hit you with a sledgehammer, kind sir. Okay, please. There we go. He's dead. We gotta back it up. That was probably very risky anyways. I gotta get some flipping meds, my guy. Um, um, okay. Let's, uh, let's eat, let's eat some eggs. Nothing like eggs for a healthy, balanced, nutritious breakfast or something like that. It's still morning. Technically, let's eat up a couple of these bad boys. Bring that health back up slowly. Now that we're not in a narrow stairway, I think we got a little bit of a better chance. Yeet! Goodbye to your face. Yeet! Goodbye to you. Little flopping fish looking dude. Dude, I just love when you hit them hard enough sometimes. They just look like a freaking trout when they flop around. And we are about to get another level of EXP as well. But we are in welcome to what will be our underground bunker home. We even got a toilet, dude. Talk about advanced. But, uh, oh, and the cooking pot, dude. We'll be able to set up a fire. This is actually really, really nice. Yeah, where's that fire at? I'll actually get another one crafted up real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get up in my belly, Mr. Campfire. Um, I don't really want to, like, take this vitamin, though. Um, hold on. I'm gonna drop these overalls really quickly. I'm sorry, overalls. I didn't mean to betray you. We'll toss that up there. We're gonna turn this into our temporary base of operations. Like, it's pretty safe. The f Like, everything here is pretty fortified. Like, y'all try punching this. Okay, I can't punch it. One second. Let me wear the- God dang it, that's not what I meant to do. Um, oh, I got that better hunting rifle. I should definitely just toss the scope on this. What am I doing, baby? Hold on, let me eat these next two boiling eggs. To get our health back up to full. We're gonna transfer that scope, right? Over to... Hello? Oh, what? Get out of here, freaking... One piece of ammo? Hold on, I'm gonna drop you for a sec. I gotta pick up that scope. We gotta go to the good boy over here. Hello! That thing just became even more powerful. From 60 damage to 66. With every mod we toss out of that hunting rifle, which we can have two more of, it will become more and more powerful, baby. But okie dokie, with that bad boy tossed on, let's pick that ammo back up, reload this thing, and we got a powerful weapon in our hands, and I, that's why I really want to find a trader, dude. I want to try and buy more mods, and that's the one problem with where we're at right now. I haven't seen a trader here. Traders tend to be kind of more in the outskirts of cities. I haven't really encountered them in the hearts of places. So hopefully we come across some or something. Well, worst case, we can always try making our own mods as we find blueprints and level up and stuff, but alright. Um, let's pick up this cooking pot. 100% need that. We gotta establish this base of operations a little bit. We're turning this bunker into home sweet home, baby. Do I not have any wood? Oh no, I gotta go get some wood, don't I? Ah, dang it! Oh, I always thought I have wood on demand. Not today, though. Unless there's some wood in here? No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Hey! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful! We got the little starting stockpile. And with that, we will kind of start to deck things out a little bit. Um, this is... Oh, yeah, we still got a couple of things we could loot, by the way. Look at you, gun safe. We'll probably do that during a nighttime where we don't want to get too risque. Let's let our stamina regen. We'll break into a couple of these places. Hold up. I should be using my steel fire axe. What am I doing, baby? I also got to stop being over encumbered, dude. It's not a fun lifestyle. I tell you what. Let's hit that with the one hit, and then... Oh, I was gonna power swing on this. Yeet! There we go. Took that down in one blow. And we could turn this into our stash room, honestly. That's, like, pretty far back. This is a different bunker layout from the one we encountered in Season 1, if you guys recall. But still pretty good. I like, I like, I like, I like, I like, I like. Let's try and get a couple of these boxes. And here's what we're gonna try to do, dude. I'm gonna, with these storage boxes, this is unprecedented. For a Star Snipe series. I know, I know, I know you guys are about to be, you guys are about to be so proud of me, man. We are going, woo, to level up. Nah, what we are going to do, dude, I don't like those sounds. Uh, we gotta clear out some of the surrounding zombies, I think. Hold on, let me drop these arrows really quickly. We are going to try and actually have an organized life. That is right. We're gonna have chests all throughout each of these corners. Right, that's where we're gonna be storing stuff for the most part. Maybe we'll expand as needed. And we're actually gonna try to have them signify different things. One of you, you are gonna be the designated weapon chest, okay? Over here, you are going to be the armor chest. We're really- guys, I know, I know. 
They just hold the applause. Please hold the applause. Although, if you want, toss some clap emojis in that comment section down below. They'd be highly appreciated. So I know you guys are proud of me. And hold up. I'm spooked, dude. I'm hearing some nasty noises. It's this freaking dude. What up, my guy? Goodbye to you. Oh my god, how's how's this light over there? Is that from the sun? Oh no, that's from my freaking Oh, I should turn this off. Hold up. Yeet! Boop. Turn that off. Might as well take him out. Just clear out some of the surrounding zombies. Try to keep things as safe as possible. <laughs> I love sending them flying like trout, dude. That is hilarious. Hello? Uh what are you, what you doing there, big guy? You good, bro? Uh... Ha- Didn't he die there? I am so confused. Alright, whatever. So let's just go in. Continue the murders! Oh, Dropped loot, you say? Oh, We got some water! JK, dude, we got some steel out of that guy! Oh. Now that is valuable. Okay, here's the thing, though. Uh, we gotta definitely have some more defenses down here. We probably gotta fortify this area, get like some more doorways and stuff, so we're really protected. It's just gonna be like, this is not gonna be our horde base, I don't think. This is gonna be like a chill hidey hole. I don't think this is built to withstand a giant onslaught, but it is a great place to be chilling. Alright, let's continue tossing a couple of these things where they belong. And at least like, kind of creating some organization in my life, so... This will go to weapons and tools. I think that's pretty fair. Just anything that you swing to do stuff. We'll go ahead and toss everything that we have and we'll only pull out what we need. I know, guys. This is advanced strategy that we are incorporating. I can't believe it either. Toss everything in there. And ammo included. We could toss some ammo in there too. I think that's fair. Uh, over here, what do we have? This is going to be the weapon. Not weapon. Uh, that thingy over here. I don't know. I guess. Ah, honestly, we could have the mods just go with their same category. That's a weapon mod. I could just go on the weapon mod thing. Same with the blueprints, I guess. We just kind of try to keep things organized. This, we could have this be... Hold up. I forgot to put the ammo away. We could have this be our resource chest, which is kind of like miscellaneous things. We'll have this be the food chest. All sorts of like edible things. Guys, I haven't had this much organization in my life in a while. Oh my god, the productivity is through the roof. <laughs> Let's go get that organized a little bit. Um, what should call? So we got that for armor. We got this for resources. So we could go ahead and toss a couple of those into there. Uh, dat, dat. Uh, yeah, I guess we could toss money in there too. Repair kits. You're going with the weapons. That's where you belong. Toss some of those in there. And okie dokie. Medic oh, medical supplies. I could go with the food chest for now. Till we got to expand. I don't want to expand till we need to, but all right. We got an emptied out inventory. Let's go empty out this mini bike. And we'll actually still be pretty productive. It'll only be noon in-game. And we'll, we pretty much have an empty inventory again. And with the mini bike taken into account, that's going to be a very big empty inventory. Speaking of very big things, this thing right here, that's another valuable thing we recovered in our adventure to get our backpack back from the time we died. That is going to be immensely powerful. That's a little attachment we need for our forge when we manage to craft one of those up. Speaking of which, do we actually have the... Uh, recipe for that yet we do we can craft a forge and build with forged iron iron tools as weapons i don't really know if we need that next level yet we can't do any more of any of these things really until we get higher level intellect and higher level levels ah yeah that's gonna be kind of poopy i don't really know what to do with these next skill points if you guys have any suggestions let me know in that comment section down below happy to hear where you think we should maybe put them into um, sh like, there's some other- we could, like, learn how to cook better and stuff. First aid bandages. Hello, airdrop! I am tossing everything I got down. We gotta go collect that. Airdrop's got some goods. We have- uh, whatchamacall? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, mama. That is a hike and a half away. Alrighty, then. Let's put that waypoint down there. Let's go ahead and establish this, by the way, as a base of operations. Let's save that as, uh... The vault. I like it. Did I just see a vulture? Oh, dude, that spooked me. My screen just got all whack. All right, though. That's going to be a bit of a trek. I don't know if we could hit that right away. But the thing is, I think the apartment is right by that, too. So we can just hit that up whenever we do head to the apartment. Get a little bit of multitasking in there. 
This place will loot when it's nighttime, just to kind of like maximize productivity and stuff. Uh, in terms of some of the other stuff, let's go and put some of the guns away, put some of the ammo away. Oh, all those shotgun shells, dude. It's nice to see this stash actually building up now. And uh, let's go and put away some of these valuables and whatnot that we got. And guys and gals, you are witnessing... Uh, I'm going to put that in its own little corner because I know that's very valuable. I, I do not want to accidentally forget about that someday. I just kind of put everything that we got up in here, up in there. There we got the engine. Oh, let's forget. Let's not forget the meds. Leather could go in there. Where did I put the water in? Did I put that in there? I did. Okay, I'll put the water there. Let's honestly get this water purifying too. It's going to be a big... I don't know why I messed... I, I, I'll just keep that. Whatever. <laughs> let's get this water purifying. That's going to be a very, very big thing. Where's that wood at? Let's grab that wood. Let's get this campfire going. Because <laughs> let me just say, guys, I don't know how long it's going to take for this water. Six to 17 minutes. Okie dokie. Let's get this fire cooking. Good looking. <laughs> there we go. And we should have about all the water in the world after this. Dude, starting a farm somewhere here would be cool. I think farm needs a sunlight though. We might need to do that on the apartment of the... On the roof of the apartment complex, I should say. Let's go and put that back. We don't need that. Let's kind of start to grab our expeditionary weapons. Sledgehammer? Yes. In case things hit the fan, I don't, I don't really know what, I guess the pistol, pistol's a good little backup, we got some nice stuff on there, um, I, I, I want to bring the hunt, nah, we don't need to bring the hunting ref, where'd I put that hunting ref, oh there it is, the blue like blends in for some reason in my mind, and uh, in case things do go bad, we'll grab about 50 pistol ammo, just to kind of keep us safe, oh we gotta get a sleeping bag down, what is we doing baby, nah, what is it, bedroll? Right? Better? Okay, we gotta get the bedroll. Let's go collect some plant fibers really quickly. But I mean, all in all, we got a melee weapon, we got that- Oh! We also want the weapons to actually break into stuff. Which is going to be... Hello to you, hello to you! That right there. Everything we need to break into some things. And maybe the iron club too, if we want to swing something a little bit lighter. Don't really need to grab anything else. Yeah, I think we're good. We want to leave our inventory as empty as possible. In terms of armor... Dude, I don't know, man. Ah, armor is just like, it's, it's, it's so, oh, 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 you know what I just realized? Oh, hold up, hold up. We got something interesting there, I just realized. Uh, I'm gonna leave the lightweight armor on TBH, and I'm not gonna collect, I'll, I'll bring the lucky goggles, that might be good for looting. And also, definitely wanna make sure to grab the steroids, that'll keep us nice and prepared for the adventures to come. So here's what I was going to say, right? On our character, we might be able to have an interesting little, uh, check this out, the bandolier and this. We might be able to take this mod off, go over here, modify, and let's freaking go. This now has a triple pocket and bandolier skill. Reloads 30% faster, installed into any chest armor, and that gives our carrying capacity extra. So that's actually why we're keeping this armor on too. And, uh, it is, like, does this add to our armor rating, by the way? It doesn't. At all, actually. But the bandol- actually, it doesn't affect it at all. Whatever, I'm not gonna complain. It still has really nice mods, so... I guess we'll keep the steel chest on us for protective reasons. And let's just go and put that armor away. And okie dokie. All in all, <laughs> we're actually looking super prepared. Guys, this is the start of amazingness. This is the start... ...of a whole new chapter of this city. How much time we got left? About eight hours in game. We can definitely look into the apartment a little bit, try to hit the airdrop before ultimately we get back here. And uh, TBH too, we might want to grab some of that wood. And also a wrench. Or at least, have, yeah, it's, I, it just, it's good. Wrench will be good to scrap things. Wood, you just never know when you might need it. And also that'll help us kind of reinforce this base too. Because, uh, not very protected at the moment. Do I have any doors? Didn't I have some iron doors? Or did I ditch those? Yo, I ditched the iron doors, didn't I? Dang. That's why we gotta find a tool store too, hopefully somewhere around here. If we could loot that thing, that tool store should be able to get us some nice protective things to fortify this place. And here's the thing too, if we want to, we could just tear down this and build our base on top of our vault. That's another option that we can't forget either. This is some flimsy little wood, easy peasy could go down. We got a little backyard, too. We could start growing out there. Maybe actually get some good walls. This is the nice foundation. And honestly, that might be a cool cool idea for the series, too. Turn this little shack vault into just, like, I don't know, just something to behold. Something amazing. 
I'm kind of down for that, but we'll see how this apartment goes, and obviously we'll see what you guys got to say as well. But with that said, with that done, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole time for watching. Hi, I'm so Spawn, and I'll talk to you next one. See ya.